I was just so like, there was this weight of sadness that I was feeling yesterday. And I think it's, it's not, it's, it's, I knew this person. I knew him not like best friends, but certainly a lot more than acquaintances. Um, he was influential in my life and in my business. Um, he was always good to me. Um, and, and also Browner, that heaviness of there are things that are going to change and, and how does the organization, we always use the word sustainable. How do they at least sustain a competitive payroll, you know, a competitive roster, um, who's you know, in charge. And that's a good, and that's a very good question right now. Who is in charge? Yeah. Cause there are some people in that organization right now and they know they're fired. You know, what's funny is that the most non Peter Seidler thing to do is to start criticizing what happens forward in a negative tone. And that's what we're going to do because the only reason that the Padres were the third highest payroll, the only reason that the Padres went out and re-signed and signed all these superstars was because of Peter Seidler. Like Correct. when it when it was Peter Seidler and Ron Fowler, they weren't doing that. You know, it was Correct. it wasn't it, it was it was not even remotely thought it could be possible, nonetheless actually achievable. So the most Peter Seidler thing is to do what he did the last three, four seasons. But I think there is no way but to regress back to the mean as for the organization. And what I mean by that is I'm not telling you you're going to go back and be the 28th, 29th lowest payroll in baseball. I think that this, this fan base has proven that they can be a lot more than that. But I don't think we're going to, this organization is going to be top five, top 10 very much longer. Correct. It just doesn't seem to make much sense. Well, the, the, the question is going to be, and this is what everybody's asking me, who's the owner now? Correct. And I, who's I'll, the boss? I'll tell you guys the truth. I don't know. You know, the, the Seidlers said yesterday that they, they will keep the organization in their family. So in other words, they're still the owners. But what does that mean? Does that mean that um, Sheil, Peter's wife, is now the owner? Is she going to run the operation? Um, does it mean that Peter's brother, I'm trying to remember which because he's one of his brothers is his like right hand business partner in LA with their investment fund. Um, one of his brothers, Tom, who I, I spoke to a little bit by text yesterday, um, you know, he's in the organization. So is in another Seidler brother, because I want to say there may have been like eight or nine siblings is yeah. another Seidler going to take over running the organization. But even if that other Seidler were to, let's just play this out for a second. It doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that Peter's financial energy, Peter's willingness to spend Peter's ability to fundraise, um, Peter's ability to persuade that is gone. Now, does some other brother walk in and he's got the, the same passion? Don't know yet. Think, think about it like this. This is it's not the same, but it's a, it's in the same ballpark. When Dr. Jerry Buss died mm -hmm. and the Lakers kind of went into this weird disarray afterwards mm -hmm. of who's actually in charge? Is it the brothers? Is it Jeannie? Everybody had different ideas on what ways to make the Lakers better. Now, I'm not saying whoever takes over doesn't want what's best for the Padres. But to get to that point to where everything shakes out and now it's genie bus, mm -hmm. it got ugly. Yep. It got ugly. Mm -hmm. This is we we're let's not pretend that this isn't a business. And y'all, y'all watch succession. Y'all know when somebody wants to be the boss, when the boss is either vacating or going to vacate, things get ugly. I remember when they fired them on it, when Dan Cilio got fired. I think three people went to Joe Tatino the day it happened. They were like, yo, they put me in that slot. Because people are thinking about themselves. It's just a matter of time when they will let that out. So whoever the boss is, that's going to determine what happens to that organization, I, I, period. I, I actually kind of agree with what you're saying. <laughs> Meaning, like, if you compare this situation to the series succession for anybody that watched it. I know me and Alex did um, the patriarch of the organization and the family is gone. So, you know, what was the plan 
And is everybody going to abide by it? I'm not sure yet, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I will, I'll just say I hope that that's not the case because the three people that were vying for it were all imbeciles. So on that uh, in, in succession, right? <laughs> yes. But, but again, but again, here's the thing. You know, Eric Rupner, by way of example, he's the CEO. That that means mm -hmm. you run the organization. It doesn't mean you own it. It doesn't mean you have the power to spend as much as you want. You, you know, have a uh, boss. Right. AJ Preller is a guy whose job is to create the baseball side of things. He has a boss. Right. So so there has to be a a single figure that represents the ownership of the organization. And I can honestly tell you today, as we sit here one day after Peter's death, I don't know who that's going to be. I'm not. Really I don't. Sure. I think it's all making a lot more sense now when you started hearing rumblings about the Seidler equity group being in meetings when you start hearing about those things like that makes a lot more sense now what do you today. mean Seidler equity group being in meetings what do you mean by that well yeah. like so when who's running this team while peeler's going through his medical procedures oh. which is all okay, we knew you, you know that's yeah. all we knew since july that he had not been well he he and so you start hearing and reading about who's doing what and who's saying what and all those things make a lot more sense now and yeah, i'm wondering and i'm pretty yeah. sure that they're smart enough there was there is a plan. We just don't know it yet. 